Yes, my peoples, it's T, and yes, I am back with another Apprentice reaction and review. So this week, we are talking about week six. Let's get it. All right. So week six, this week is all about creating a cereal. So 2.6 billion pound is the UK market for cereals, which is kind of crazy to be fair. Um, most of that must be Kellogg's. Um, but they have to create a cereal and then they have to also create an augmented reality type element. Because, you know, back in the day with cereals, you used to get your toys, etc. But now we're in the future. Technology is about augmented reality, game, etc. And you need to design, create a brand. Um, and it's for a target audience of six to eight years old. So children in mind. So interesting task. Um, but first things first, let's let's get on to exactly what are the PMs? Who are the PMs, sorry, should I say? So let me let me play a little clip which takes us through what or who the PMs are. Let's go, let's go. Six to eight range. Primary school children, it's kind of like all about getting a good breakfast in them in the morning. I kind of have an idea of what they would enjoy. So Phil tried to, so really to be PM to and then out. Sam asked to be PM. Sam? And I guess everybody voted for Sam. <laughs> So, and then on the other team, Steve, there wasn't even a vote, Steve straight away became the PM instantly. So, got a little sneak peek there of what, what the theme was. So essentially, um, Steve and Sam are the PMs for the two teams. Now, I'm going to start off again saying last week, in fact, to be fair, it's been six weeks since week one. I've been, definitely week two, I've been saying that one team is unbalanced. And Steve is PM of the team, which is a bit stronger. And Sam is PM of the team, which is weak. Ironically, Sam is one of the weak, the weaker players, I think, in this um, actual process. Um, but so I, from the get-go, I said last week, I predict that whatever, whatever task that this team does, whilst they're still together, once they still have Verdi, Sam, Mora and Phil on the same team, they will always lose. Um, that is my prediction. Um, and, and I'm going to stick to that prediction so to see if I'm right in my prediction as we go along in this series, sorry, in this episode. Um, so yeah, 2 p.m. Sam this week. I haven't seen her as p.m. So it'd be good to see her a little bit more of her. Um, and then Steve, haven't seen a lot of him either, but he's he, he seems okay. So um, that's that. And then in relation to the themes that they chosen. So as you got a little sneak peek earlier, Steve had a theme of um, superheroes, which... I believe it's kind of overdone a little bit, but you can't really go around with that. Um, and it does seem to meet the target audience, in my opinion. Um, so let me finish off the rest of this clip, actually, whilst I'm here. It allows us to create different types of characters for different types of kids. So exactly. We could almost integrate kind of the planets of the solar system. Now, the other team, Paul, who I think is decent, suggested solar systems. And Amora suggested Arctic. Now... So we had two suggestions here. We had we had Arctic, we had we had Arctic from Mora, and then we had Solar Systems from Paul. I think Solar Systems would have worked well because you can have bright colors which kids like and play with that around a little more. So, you know, there's more you know options there. Whereas Mora um, wanted Arctic, um, and Sam as PM for some reason chose Mora's idea, which I don't understand. She was even she was actually warned by the ever members, Verdi, lo and behold, Verdi, um, and Flo all said. Mm, Arctic is a bit limiting. Um, you're only stuck with two colors, essentially light blue and white, because that's what the Arctic is. Um, where do you go? Um, so I think that's going to hold him back already. Instantly, these same players making really poor decisions. So let's see what happens there. But they did choose the Arctic theme. Um, yeah. So let's move on to the next the next clip before I get into the rest of my thoughts and review. Yeah, really so. Look at this. On the basics. And then the flavour is minimum 15. First, on Steve's plate. What we're thinking for the base? I'm thinking hoops. I think it's a bit safe bet. Right. Yeah. So, so before I even get to the rest of this, just to just to clarify, the sub team PMs was Nor, Trey, and Feluso on the stronger team. Um, they had to create the, the the character, and they decided to create a strong female character which is fair enough. Today is actually International Women's Day. 
Um, that's the day I'm shooting this video. So um, happy International Women's Day to everybody out there who's watching this. Um, and on the ever team, um, they had Verdi and Paul and someone else. Maybe Mora on the character team as well, which, yeah, Mora. So um, <laughs> that's three really poor people on one team. Verdi, Paul and Mora on one team. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not looking good. Um, anyway, then they had to, the other team had to decide and create um, the actual, the actual items um, of cereal themselves. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> let's get into that. So, as you can see here, they got they got kind of told a really strong recommendation of what they should put in ingredients wise and um and you know kilogram wise etc etc. So let's watch a little so bit more of this clip. Yeah. Flo, Bill, and Sam. The passion fruit, we need spaghetti sauce. Yeah, I think it's a, a strong recommendation. I think it's strong, strong recommendation. Correct. Exactly. Flo's correct. Do it to taste, person. Do it to taste. Oh, we do it to taste. Why don't we put a gram of passion fruit in there and see what it tastes like? Okay. 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 Fantastic. Good. Fantastic. Yeah, in my opinion, in my opinion, Flo is an... Sorry, not Flo. Paul is an... Is it Paul? No, it's Phil. I'm saying all the wrong names now. Phil is an absolute idiot. <laughs> How has he ignored the guidance of the of the ingredients from the actual professionals that make these cereals and said, oh, let's just go with, let's just go with whatever. It's, listen, let's hope it tastes nice because I think he's an absolute idiot. And to make it worse here, yeah, every time I see Phil on any test that involves any cooking, he's the worst, he makes the worst decisions and he's a pie maker. He should be good at cooking. What is going on? Anyway, now let's move on to the next section. Now this is, this is the, this is a team. This is the team with um, is it Mora, Paul, and someone else creating the character? I may have I may have mixed up the teams a bit earlier on, but let's see. And then a big part of polar bear head is so it was Mora, Verdi, nice. and Paul. That looks good. Paul is Obviously, a stronger player, I think. But this character for me was a really poor design. Paul design character. A rucksack. Fair enough. No trousers. No trousers. Why? Why? Mega Why? So random. So, in my opinion, Mora took over that, that creation there entirely on her own. Um, so, if they lose this task, I think it's just, the character in itself is all on her because I think the character is very childish and it's missing some very key elements, in my opinion. And now, on the other team, I also don't like the character, um, nor the sub team PM. And I think they created um, created something really poor. Not, 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 not. Bad, not as bad as the ever team, but still poor. Um, so let's watch this clip. They seem to be kind of ominous and ironing what, what to do. do so the outfit is gonna be, let me think. Um, um, see, they all have no ideas. That this may come across a little bit boring. I really, really think we should go song and dance. Like he's dressed song and dance. He's got a t-shirt on. Is he dressed to dance? Obviously, I can body part. These are so poor. I can, I can make that look really entertaining on there. Honestly, so I'm going to, I'm going to, honestly, honestly. So they had to create a story and create something for the augmented, augmented reality. And yes, Paul was very honest and spotted that Maura's story was boring. I agree with that entirely. But he put himself on the line about doing a song and dance, which I think could go either way, either really well or really bad. Um, and then <laughs> in that same scene, <laughs> Verdi, what was he doing? Uh, Verdi is so, so useless. I say this every single week. Why is he still here? So useless. I haven't seen him contribute nothing useful this entire series. And now he's gone. I'm, now he's gone and made a polar bear. And Paul be doing, be doing Bangra. Now he's made the polar bear. And <laughs> the polar bear and Paul be doing Bangra. <laughs> Honestly, Verdi needs to stick to DJing. <laughs> Verdi needs to stick to DJing. <laughs> What's going on? Like, fair enough. I, it's good having an inclusive, you know, an inclusive um, character. Fair enough. And, and everybody enjoys a bit, a, a bit of Bangra. But <laughs> Verdi's contributions are so just not really that useful. Um, anyway, and then on the other team... Um, and every team, no, no, actually crap me up because um, I want to watch this, this this clip because no, no crap me up. <laughs> let's let's watch this clip actually. Be here. 
here, you can see you guys. So I've travelled all this way to meet you guys. Obviously. obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> this girl said, I, I, I travelled all this way to meet you guys. Obviously, <laughs> like, come on, in a corporate, in a corporate presentation, why is she talking to corporate adults like their kids? I travelled all this way to meet you, obviously. <laughs> anyway, um, going back a little bit, obviously, um, the crunch, the, the crunch, um, I wanted everything, they had crunch as one of their words. I don't think the design of that was distinguish distinguishable at all. Um, so I think that may come out to bite them in future. And then on other team, Steve was meant to be the PM, but he was being, man if anything, he was everywhere around. He was being managed by the girls. The girls took over um, and he was just sat there like, okay. But their cereal box design for me was actually pretty good. They had actually had a bowl of cereal on their box and it just looked pretty like a normal cereal box. Whereas the other team, is that a box of fruit? Is it a box of cereal? Is it a box of, what is it? I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's just got passion fruit in the front, so that's poor. Um... And then <laughs> this doesn't look like a cereal box at all. But then also the taste of the cereal, they sound like they're all awful. All of them seem like they're awful. And again, Phil is a pie maker. Why is he so poor at any cooking task? On that basis alone, he should leave completely fluffed it. Him and Verdi, useless. I say it over and over again, but they're useless. Also, both augmented reality elements were super poor. Um, the dancing from Paul, that's not really augmented reality. Yes, the kids can copy what they're doing, but you're not really in an augmented reality situation. That's literally just a video of a person dancing. The other team, yeah, you actually have to move around and, and collect gems. Still a bit boring. Once you do once, you've done it. That's it, it's done. Um, so yeah, lots of poor things, but um, the focus groups though, the focus group, kids, yeah, kids are absolute savages. I love the way our kids are just fully honest no filter um both both teams got really bad feedback on their cereal one team had literally no taste to the other team being a complete opposite being too strong with the taste um and but but some of the young girls did enjoy the dance moves from paul though um but that's about it that's about it um and then on the corporate side of things um they were trying to obviously negotiate buying getting getting different you know, clients to purchase their yeah. products and essentially, ugh, unbelievable. Paul, I thought Paul was a good one. Paul was talking to, was it Iceland or Asda or Premier? And one of them he was talking to and he, the client, the client asked him, oh, so what were the negatives? What, what came out the focus group? And why did Paul just say, well, they said it was bland in taste. You don't say that. You, don't, you do not say that to a client. You completely shot himself in the foot with that negotiation. So they was never going to sell anything there. If anything, if you want to be honest about the, about the feedback, you could say that in a, in a more positive way. Um, you don't have to be like, yeah, the thought was bland. Leave it like, like that. Like you could say, oh, the kids, um, the kids, you know, they thought the taste was okay, but they thought they could have had a lot more flavor, which is something that we can implement in a future iteration of the product. Get me. Use better words. Don't start off with a negative. Um, <laughs> ridiculous. Anyway. Um, anyway, um, the Ever Team, the Ever Team, got a very interesting offer from Iceland. Let's watch the clip first. If there's any other questions as well? If we were to place an order, mm -hmm. we'd like to have a period where we'd have exclusivity. Exclusivity. Is that something that you'd be prepared to do? So, long story short, long story short, yes. They got an exclusivity deal from Iceland, um, which they actually agreed to. So to be three months ex exclusive but my question on that was they missed out they missed out potentially on ever deals because ever ever retailers don't don't want to pick up something after launch after another retailer has had it first really they may do it eventually if it definitely sells out but not straight away off the bat so they may have missed out on ever sales here but they did secure two hundred thousand from iceland which is quite a lot um and the other team is so 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 bad with their sales i do expect um them to still get more despite only getting one client i expect them to get more sales from that one client because the other team seems to they can't even give it away for free the other team cannot even give their product away for free at this point um but yeah as i said last week i'm g genuinely if this team this if this if this team will not i'm i want to say this team i mean the paul the team with paul and verdi and mora all these poor players if this this team genuinely would never win any any task any week unless Alan Sugar mixes the teams up 
Um, it's just really bad. That he has to mix the teams up because it's just shocking. It's shocking. Um, so yeah, the other team should still win despite them limiting themselves with the exclusivity deal, in my humble opinion. Um, but yeah, today I did enjoy the broadroom brief. Um, loads of jokes, as usual, from Lord Alan Sugar. Um, but let's get on to the results. Let's get on to the results. So let's see where it ended. Um, the total orders that they walked away with from one client was 200,000 units. Yeah, so we knew that. Karen, exactly the same thing. Well, um, Alan, as you know, they got orders from three retailers. Three retailers? Uh, okay. They secured only 7,500. 7,000 wow. 7, from three retailers. Oh, so so as, it, as, expected, as expected, the ever team won. No surprise there. It's just really, really poor, poor, poor every single week. Like, I don't even need to turn on to turn on the, the show to know who's going to win, who's going to lose. Six weeks in a row, this team has lost. It's terrible, shocking. Mix the teams up. Poor. Um, but yeah, as again, I keep saying my strap line, supremely poor. Team Supreme, supremely poor. Send them all home. Even when even Flo and Paul, they went over there to try and help them and save them. Didn't help. Didn't help. <laughs> it just made them a little less poor, but they're still poor. Um, but honestly, the second, the second Sam agreed to Mora's Arctic theme, it, for me, it was curtains. I was like, yep, they are done. They are done. Even when the other team told them, nah, this is a bad idea. She's still done it. She's still done it. Um, the ingredients, so everything was bad. They, they made poor decisions, calamitous decisions all around. Um, the ingredients, the cereal box design, the age range targeting, everything poor. But you know, it's interesting. They sent the other team, um, the winners to a fair game. Um, I'm not sure if any of you watching this have been to Fair Game, but Fair Game is a is a is a is a, a place in Canary Wharf, which I went to recently, and um, it's very very fun, very exciting. So I do recommend this. This this is not plug by the way, but very fun, very exciting. So it's interesting to see them go to Fair Game. I wish I could have had it just like them, with it being empty. But I went there when there was a bunch of people there. Um, but yeah, very very fun experience. So I recommend it. Um, anyway, so Sam brought back Phil Mora and um, into the boardroom. Verdi survives, survives yet and never weak. <laughs> I've, honestly, I think it should be a double firing this week because Phil and Mora, very poor. I think Sam could easily go as well, to be fair, because she was a poor leader and making very, very shocking decisions, in my opinion. But let's see what the result was in the end. In, in, in this process. Um, for that reason, Phil, you know, I, I, I've oh. got to seriously think about your Is it position. Phil? process Sam I admire your uh, honesty and I can tell that you, you know you get on with everyone it's not about that though that is a good virtue it's not about that though however the kids found the cereal um, shocking bland. bland so it is with uh, sincere uh, regret cheerio Cheerio. <laughs> Go home to the kids. Go home to the kids, mate. Go home to the kids, mate. Honestly, that was shocking. Uh, Mora's gone home, so the, so the loser, the person who was fired this week, is Mora. Um, and at the end of that little clip, um, Sir Ellen Sugar did say, Phil, you are walking a tightrope. You're the luckiest man alive. Honestly, he is, because him and Verdi, shocking. Also, Alan Sugar did say that Mora, he doesn't know her and she has to be a PM next week. So she will be the PM next week. And my predictions, straight away, they're going to lose again because I think Mora is awful. <laughs> so this team, unless they somehow mix up the teams, Mora will lose again next week. Just putting that out clear. And, and, and if I'm wrong in that prediction, then something must have went seriously wrong with the other team. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, next week um, is all about a bespoke tour. So it looks like they're going to be in Budapest. Um, they look like they're going to be in Budapest. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this task has in store. But as usual, if you enjoyed that reaction, my reaction, my review, my thoughts, let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well, who you think should win, who you think is getting better, who you think is standing out. And um, I will see you on week seven. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.